Good afternoon. This is Brad Dyke. I'm just giving you a quick t uh, update. Um, I don't know about you guys, but when you deal with 2.5 inch discs like this and other types, may they be mechanical based or not, I'm just kind of sick and tired of the industry not having what I want. So I decided, you know what, screw it. I'm going to use plexiglass and make my own. So this is basically what I'm doing. Uh, represents roughly about 11 discs. And I'm going to put it together in plexiglass using thin base pl plexiglass. There are two pieces here to match up. And the goal is, is to have a really nice, light, thin, functional 2.5 inch SATA SAS, any type you want, uh, stand for external testing and internal testing if you want. So stand by. Okay, so basically in a nutshell, and this is part one of two parts. One, first the construction and cutting and the styling and uh, classification of the plastics that I'm going to use. And eventually down the road, I think I'm going to also use a um, 3D printer once I get this under control. But basically what you're seeing here is the side panels of 11 disc uh, storage platform. Basically it's just a house up to 11 SSDs or, S or 2.5 inch SAS or SATA and it's nice because it's thin that's the key thing if you can see the thickness there of those two sheets and um, so basically in a nutshell when this is done part one will be the cutting and construction uh, and part two will be the snap together and configuration it's going to be actually almost completely screwless uh, once you've got everything in play you can put a little bit of glue in there and everything will stay together up at the top you see the cutouts that which I will have to place uh, and at the bottom, you can already see I've notched the bottom so it's ready to sit into a flat bay platform for support. But um, we will take this to the next level in just a second. Okay, the very first thing you want to do is you want to get a couple of samples. Like right here is a spinning disc based 2.5 inch disc as well as an, an SSD standard. I tried to do standard because the ultra slims are even thinner than this, but your goal is is to reach the capacity that you want to do, and that is to be able to fit all of them. Um, not, next, you'll also notice that I have a screw on this one, and that's important for later when you drill bit the actual holes to pass your screw through. Now remember, you have to use on the sides only, you have to use uh, thin plastic. Uh, low grade uh, thickness um, that way you'll be able to accomplish what you want once you've cut the base piece out by first drawing it out as such and then once you've done it by pencil then you want to photocopy it a couple of times so that you can have the photocopy giving you your basic specs of roughly you know seven and a quarter inch high with five and a quarter inch wide and the base being slightly larger uh, which is basically five and a half inches wide uh, you were able to cut that stencil out and then once you've block cut your plastic tape your stencil which is a cutout of this on top of the plastic now it already principally fits you see the notch on the bottom it's just a little bit of a uh, plastic that sticks out so you can have a, a point where you can lock down the base and the same thing for the top except in this case there are holes so the top piece will fit into those holes to provide security and stability for the overall system so uh, the last thing that you want to do is of course the screw you've got to be careful you have to get just the right diameter but not as you look there too wide because then the screw will pass through which is not good. Uh, so with that being done, the next step is of course to drill. Uh, use a drill press if you can on the plus markers at which you've done via by a ruler and it's basically pretty simple. You've got a one centimeter width with a, a five millimeter spacing below and above and that should give you lots of space. Uh, the old, old, old 2.5 inch drives are not much bigger than that. So anyways, um, with that being shown, you'll be able to support a 9mm drive, a traditional 7mm drive like this one, or of course, you know, the traditional 5mm. 
So uh, SSD wise, uh, this will not support any of the MVM RAM style connections or setups. And uh, but let's go to the next stage. Okay, the last part of this part one is going to be your resources. So in this case, we have what is basically a, a, a standard saw here, a jigsaw, and it has different blades. But in this particular case, we're just going to go with a straight edge style metal plastic cutting bit. Um, you don't have to change the angle aspects. The tool itself is very good and run at slower speeds, not at higher speeds, because you can cut slowly. That's really good. Now, then you have your, uh, your class uh, style uh, plastics. Plexiglass is a common term. You can use Lexon uh, polycarbonate sheets. They're really resilient. They're flexible, yet they still are fairly rigid. This is what I'm using for the side walls. I'll probably not use this for the base. I will use instead of a thicker plexiglass style base because it is a base. But at the top, you can either take strips of plastic and pass them through like this, or you can choose to use a thicker piece of plastic on the top piece because it's purely cosmetic. Now the secret weapon about getting this all to connect well is to trim your top and your bottom via by using two dead SATA discs or SAS discs, whatever you got, um, anything will work, you know, that will allow you to connect in and um, you will screw them into the two plates once you've got your holes drilled by a press. I recommend a press in this case. As you can see here I have a uh, pretty stable Craftsman here that does a job, good job, nice slow RPM so it doesn't burn stuff too quickly. And you have to be careful about that because if you try to drill too fast or cut too fast, you run the risk of cracking. And you don't want to do that. So anyways, with that being said, this is going to end part one. And um, we'll get into part two where we actually bring it all together piece by piece. And you can see how it's designed. Thanks. Bye.